head back into the school year. One local district found a new way to keep students safe as they travel to and from school. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill has more. Back to school is right around the corner and the New York Mills Union Free School District will be the first to implement school bus cameras this year. A couple of years ago, Vera Mobility reached out to a number of school districts in the area um, offering to put stop arm cameras on our buses. And then obviously with COVID, um, that conversation kind of took a back seat for a while. And then uh, it's kind of back in the forefront. The camera activates when the bus stops and the arm goes out. It acts as a license plate reader and will capture the plate number of the vehicle. The data is then fed back to the vendor. Sheriff Mayshall explains that this is sent over to the deputy sheriff, who each day reviews the footage of the cars passing the stopped bus. Because we have to have a police officer witness this violation, and they're witnessing it on the camera, and on the video footage. And then if it is, in fact, a car that passed that bus, under this new law, we merely cite the registered owner of the vehicle. They get a summons in the mail, and it's a $250 fine for the first offense. The camera will not cost the school district anything. The vendor will receive a percent of the fine, and the remaining portion will go to Oneida County. In 2019, the state of New York averaged 50,000 cars a day that pass school buses. So the most important factor of this new safety protocol is keeping children safe as they travel to and from school. Every day our drivers report uh, people passing our school buses, uh, even though the lights are on and the stop arm is out. And so any way that we can make uh, the transportation of our students safer, I think is well worthwhile. Reporting in Oneida County, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News. Be sure to 